we consider now error in interpolation. Suppose that n is greater than or equal to 0 and that f is a real valued continuous function, continuous function defined on the closed interval a b and that the derivatives of f f of order n plus 1 exists and is continuous. on the closed interval a b. Let x belong to the closed interval a b, then there exists a psi which depends on x belonging to the open interval a b such that f of x minus p n of x, the interpolating polynomial of degree at most n that interpolates this function f of x is the n plus 1th derivative at psi by n plus 1 factorial into pi n plus 1 of x, where pi n plus 1 of x is x minus x naught, x minus x 1 etcetera up to x minus x n. This is a polynomial of degree n plus 1, there are n plus 1 such factors of the form x minus x naught, x minus x 1 etcetera, x minus x n. So, pi n plus 1 of x is a polynomial of degree n plus 1. Moreover, we will show that modulus of f of x minus p n of x is less than or equal to m n plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial into modulus of pi n plus 1 of x, where m n plus 1 is equal to maximum of modulus of n plus 1th derivative of f for x in the interval a b. This gives you the error bound on the interpolation error. We shall now provide details of the proof of this theorem. Let us first take x to be say x i. What are x i's? x i's are the interpolation points. So, what happens to the left hand side of star? Suppose I call this a star, then the left hand side is such that I have f of x i minus p n of x i and what is it? That is 0 because x i are the interpolation points at which p n of x interpolates the function f. So, the left hand side is 0. What happens to the right hand side? It is going to be n plus 1th derivative at psi by n plus 1 factorial into pi n plus 1 of x. What is pi n plus 1 of x? It is x minus x naught and I take x to be x i. So, x i minus x naught 
x i minus x 1 etcetera and there will be a factor x i minus x i into x i minus x n. So, because of this factor this is 0, so the right hand side is also 0. So, star is identically satisfied at points x which are x i namely the interpolation points. So, star is identically satisfied when x is x i. So, we consider the case when x is different from x i and x belongs to the interval a b. So, for such a value of x, we define the function phi of t as follows, namely phi of t is defined as f of t minus p n of t minus f of x minus p n of x by pi n plus 1 of x into pi n plus 1 of t. Note that here x is fixed and x belongs to the interval a b. Now, I shall look into the properties of phi of t. Phi at x i where x i are the interpolation points is such that it is f of x i minus p n of x i minus f of x minus p n of x divided by pi n plus 1 of x into pi n plus 1 at x i. But what do I know about f of x i minus p n of x i that is 0 minus the terms within this bracket is a constant because x is fixed. What about pi n plus 1 of x i? Pi n plus 1 of x i contains a factor x i minus x i in it and hence that is 0 and this shows that phi of x i is 0 for i is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 up to n. So, there are n plus 1 points x i at which phi vanishes. In addition, let us see what is phi at x, where x belongs to a b. So, phi at x will be f of x minus p n of x minus f of x minus p n of x by pi n plus 1 of x into pi n plus 1 of x. So, we get f of x minus p n of x minus f of x minus p n of x and so that is again 0. So, we observe that phi vanishes at points x, x naught, x 1, x 2, etcetera up to x n. So, there are n plus 2 points at which phi vanishes. So, applying Rolle's theorem, we see that phi dash of t vanishes at n plus 1 distinct points and each of these points lies between the successive zeros of I can continue to apply Rolle's theorem again and that gives me that phi double dash of t vanishes at n distinct points each of which lies between the successive zeros of of 
five dash ten. The assumptions about the function f in the theorem are sufficient so that Rolle's theorem can be applied in succession n plus 1 times and that shows that the n plus 1th derivative vanishes at some psi in the interval a b. So, we compute the n plus 1th derivative of phi. So, the n plus 1th derivative of phi will be the n plus 1th derivative of f minus the n plus 1th derivative of p n minus f of x minus p n of x by pi n plus 1 of x into the n plus 1th derivative of pi n plus 1 of t. So, this will be n plus 1th derivative of f at t. What do you know about p n? It is a polynomial of degree at most n. So, the n plus 1th derivative is 0. So, this term will give you f of x minus p n of x by pi n plus 1 of x into let us find out what is the n plus 1th derivative of pi n plus 1. We know that pi n plus 1 of x is a polynomial of degree n plus 1 and the leading term is x to the power of n plus 1. So, when you differentiate this n plus 1 times that will give you n plus 1 factorial. But what do we know? Application of Rolle's theorem in succession n plus 1 times gives that n plus 1th derivative of phi vanishes at some psi. So, the n plus 1th derivative at psi is 0 and that gives you that n plus 1th derivative of f at psi minus f of x minus p n of x by pi n plus 1 of x into n plus 1 factorial is 0. So, if you rewrite this we get f of x minus p n of x to be n plus 1th derivative of f at psi by n plus 1 factorial into pi n plus 1 of x and this is what we are asked to show namely result star. So, we have shown that the error in interpolation at any x in the interval a b which is different from x i is given by the right hand side. So, we now have to prove this result. I consider modulus of f of x minus p n of x. So, that will be modulus of n plus 1th derivative at psi by n plus 1 factorial into modulus of pi n plus 1 of x. As the n plus 1th derivative is continuous on the closed interval a b. The same is true for the absolute value of the n plus 1th derivative of f on the interval a b and therefore, modulus of the n plus 1th derivative of f is bounded on the closed interval a b. So, modulus of the n plus 1th derivative of f is 
less than or equal to m n plus 1 and it achieves this maximum on the interval a b and so we have modulus of f of x minus p n of x is less than or equal to m n plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial into modulus of pi n plus 1 of x and that is what we have to prove and which is given here. So, we have been able to show the error in interpolation and also the an estimate of the size of the bound on the error in interpolation namely this result. So, with the help of this inequality we can provide an estimate on the size of error bound when we interpolate a given function f of x by means of an interpolating polynomial of degree at most n. We will look into these details in the next class.